drop, pin and drop. All right. You guys already know who showed up today. It's no other. Roberto Rodrigo Ramirez. What's up, baby? What's going on? Mr. Panda. What's good, Mr. Cuban Link? Back chilling. again. Just chilling. Over here chilling, baby. You back even before the other interview is fully out because so much stuff happens involving your name all the time that we can't even get through one damn interview fully put out before somebody says something about you again. <laughs> we got to cover it. Come on, bring it on. Man, the fans. I dare y'all to fuck it. I dare them, man. Then I dare them. So I, come in, come on. The Give fans were now. even like, yo, when you interview with Cuban again, we got to hear what he got to say about this. I'm, I'm like, getting caught up with the novella. This novella, I told you, the novella is, is, is definitely is definitely the top seller. It's nonstop. It's definitely. It's nonstop, okay? That's good. That's good. I don't even need to watch any shows, anything. Like, this just keeps me constantly engaged with all the drama, man. Yep, and them checks coming in the mail. Go ahead, no panda man. All right, so the question of the day. I'm assuming that you've already seen the video about Tony. You, you're assuming because I'm Cuban, huh? Where he's talking about you. You're assuming because I'm Cuban and I like Ruben sandwiches? Damn. Racist. What you, what you said? I'm assuming that I've seen uh, Tony's what? Because Tony has a lot of uh, nothings because he blocked me. He blocks me from, from I'm blocked from his uh, IG, so I don't know. So whatever I get to see or hear anything is because a fan either mails me inboxes me some or you tell me <laughs> right did you watch the yeah. video that i did on, on it yeah yeah i seen it i seen a little um what he's talking about uh the cock that had slapped him broke like messed up his teeth he kept his teeth white because the cum <laughs> hit i don't know what he was talking about but i don't know what it is he got new toothpaste from it's called cock gate instead of colgate i don't know <laughs> Something's going on with his with his uh, mentality. I don't understand. I've, I've never seen a guy that that, that 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 does this so much, like talks so subliminally. <laughs> right, right, right. So it. let's let's start at the first post, okay? So he posts a picture of him with Corleone, right? They're oh my laughing. God, Corleone! They, they're laughing and they have yeah. the song "Big Pun" laughing at you playing in the background. He's saying, "I'm laughing at you. Right. I'm laughing at you now." You told me you got smacked with a cock. Now you trying to back it down. Oh, pop, pop, pop. A cock slapped in your mouth. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so he said that we just try to be humble right now, but we got uh -huh. some exposing to do if you keep pushing the lions or whatever, something along those lines, right? And so... Hey, Mr. Good... That's Mr. Good Vibes. You want to call him Mr. Good Vibes. I, I renamed him. Mr. Good Vibes. Hey, Mr. Good Vibes, you think you slick? You talk talking out your mouth, so I got smacked with it. Now you think you're tough, and you look in my nuts, and all you gotta do is call it your bluff. <laughs> ah, 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 ah. All right, come on, let me stop playing. All right, so so for the people that don't know, who is Corleone? Corleone. Corleone, big disappointment in my life. Corleone is a guy that I met. He's Cuban. You know, you know, me and the Cuban connection there I always had love for my people. So in New York, isn't too many Cubans. So it's only he's a few out of he's one of a, out of a few, actually. Him, his family, you know, what I'm saying his brother, his, you know, the whole family. I knew I knew the whole family. You know, what I'm saying uh, Coley was a dude that, like I said, he, he resided in Yonkers. Um, he came into my, in my circle, my humble. I liked him. You know, he's a funny dude. Real dude at the time, um, and since he's Cuban, you already know. You know that that them ties right there go deeper. So I met his moms, his dad, his sisters, and there's always been love. You know, what I'm saying that he caught a case, caught a body. Damn. You know, he was in my house hiding out. I left him. I, actually, he was I, I did some fucking illegal shit for him because I hit him in my house. <laughs> you know, what I'm saying, and then uh, I paid his bail, ten thousand dollars. Um, he went to uh, he went to jail. You know, he blew trial. They they gave him twenty three years, them thirty three years. You know what I'm saying? Like, I went to see him whenever I could, about probably like ten times in twenty three years. That's a lot for me too. But I went to see him, kept contact with him. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Um, 
through the whole bit. When he came out, he just came out probably like last year or something like that. Something like that. Two years ago, I don't know. I forgot now. Anyway, at the last part of his bid, you know what I'm saying, I was, I, was, I was being like cautious. So I was like, yo, you know, nobody's reaching out to you, right? Like nobody reaching out to you, my nigga, right? Like just trying to change your mind some, right? Because, you know, that like, man nigga was like, that's when uh, niggas like, I started feeling like my niggas was like, you know what I'm saying, selling out and shit. Niggas was defecting from my, from my crew. So I asked that nigga, I was been in contact with his brother. You know what I'm saying? It was brother Adam. That's my nigga too. So uh, he was like, nah, nah. But then he was telling me that Ephraim, nigga Ephraim, that my nigga I told you about, the nigga that I put on too from my old block, that that be doing all the, the 50 cent. Mr. Power. Yeah, the power and all of that. You know what I'm saying? He'd been reaching out to him. He'd been keeping contact with him. And the Don De Niro dude, the other nigga that started the shit with Pitbull that I pulled into, that I named which his name was Don De Niro, that was like reaching out to him. You know, just like probably Joe was reaching out to Remy at the end of the bit. Right. So he reached out to Cole on at the end of the bit, whatever. Promised them stuff, you know, yeah, you're going to rock with him. And since they rock with T.S. On, on that, you know, Joe and that side, I already knew with my head. I, I was so sure that I knew that. I didn't want to just imply it. And if, you know what I'm saying? That I would be wrong, but I was asking them, but letting them know that I'm asking them because I know what be happening. I know how it be, you know what I'm saying? I know how my fuck could buy you, you know what I'm saying? And they could kick, you know what I'm saying, certain kind of game that uh, make you uh, change your mind with lies or with you know, whatever they, or whatever, with a prize. They might buy you with a prize. So I asked him that and all that, and he was like, nah, you crazy, there's nah, 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 you my brother. And through the whole bit, he was like, yeah, Cuban Link, my cousin. Through the whole 23 years, he's inside, because I know other, other, other dudes in there that told me. You know what I'm saying? So. He comes out and it's the same thing like a Remy thing. You know what I'm saying? He try to act like it's not. You know, he's trying to tell me that, nah, nah. And he hanging out with Tony, taking pictures with Tony. And, and I'm telling him, yo, this thing's a disrespectful dude. You see how he's talking about me? You going to let that happen? You going to, yeah, I'm your cousin? Because cousins don't do that. Friends don't do that. You know what I'm saying? Be siding with people that be talking shit about their, their people. Especially when they fake and they know, they know stories and they know what's real or not. So you trying to just be down with that so he could get on. Did he know Tony? Did he know Tony prior? Yeah, he knew Tony, but he knew Tony. He knew the whole Terrace Square. He knew everybody from Terrace because of me. I brought him in. Gotcha. Okay. Again, I inducted him. I inducted him. You know what I'm saying? He was the type of nigga to throw the keys to the NSX and be like, hey, my nigga, do your thing. And he'll take the car and he go away in Yonkers and, you know what I'm saying? One of those dudes. Wow. So I have, you know, that type of love for him. So he comes out of jail and he starts rocking with, uh, you know, T.S. and them niggas. That's all right. And the story leads to here, to where he's taking pictures and he's letting Tony use them, I guess. If he's not even letting them use them, he should beat the shit out of them. But I know he's not because he don't care too much. So he's letting them use the pictures and Tony using him against me on that level. You know what I'm saying? Instead of getting those niggas, instead of getting mad, and be, you know what I'm saying, putting the, the beats on them for disrespecting <clears throat> They they siding with it and they like they letting it rock. You know what I'm saying? Like most of them, they do. You know what I'm saying? Just like the Hover, the Hover thing too. The Hover with the Hover strip. The whole uh the dude, the Hover dude, you know what I'm saying? That story right there. Wait, wait, but before we get into oh. that though, before we get into that, what do you think that Tony is talking about when he says that he got dirt on you and they're gonna expose you? What do, what do you think he's saying? Well, I don't know what the hell he's talking about, and I don't care what he's talking about. I don't believe no dude that got smacked with a cock in his face. Three times. Do not care. Do not. Don't even believe him. But if y'all choose to believe him, once again, I'm, not, I'm just going to sit back and just let y'all believe whatever. Because at the end of the day, if he still got something to hide or he's trying to not say it because he, he's waiting for me to like say something more disrespectful than a cock slapping him in the face, then I do not know what the hell... Y'all thinking about by even believing or buying into that. Because I would have been exposed to every, the biggest thing in the world if somebody says that about me and it's true, which it would never be true. But, um, yeah. So, y'all yeah, keep on following that and believing him if y'all want to. I know that boy is hurt. I know he's hurt. I know he's saying I'm not hurt. You know what I'm saying? That, 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 was, a, that was three hard slashing. You know, that, you could talk about my slashing in my face. That was... A real, you know, that's a traumatical slashing that he has that caused more trauma than any, any of my scars ever caused me because he's still, you know what I'm saying? Cat boy. 
Right. So you were saying he the next day he ends up putting up a picture of him with BX Hove, right? And you and BX Hove had a situation yeah. where they caught on camera, BX Hove just punched you out of nowhere and you fell down and they they rushed him out of the place. Was it a bar or where were you guys at? Nah, that was the um, that was a little bar. It was, uh, I'm not gonna even name the bar cause right, okay. You're promoting them. But it's a bar in the Bronx. It's where the old Riddlers used to be at. You know what I'm saying? By Westchester. That's what I'm going to say. And what is the situation between you guys? Didn't you guys squash it? Eh, kind of squash it. Sort of even. But you know how it be. You know, people feel different sometimes. When, when you know what I'm saying? They got different people around them. But, you know, um, that dude, that, that situation derived because, you know, I was, like I said, I was stupid for even being in that place. That's not a friendly place for Cuban to be at, you know what I'm saying, ever to be at because it's the history. Uh, once again, it derives from the Tony Sunshine. You know what I'm saying? Uh, if y'all didn't know, back in the days, uh, I caught a knife to the stomach defending Tony when them fight from certain people. You know what I'm saying? Now, what's funny about that is that the guy he's standing there next to, which is the Hover guy, is one of the guys that rocks with the people that stomped him out that day. Back in the days when he was 18 with me. Oh, wow. So he's siding, going like this and taking, going like this, you know, giving him all her raise and, and praises to the guy that rocks with the dudes that knocked him out that I was defending him against. That's how disgusting this dude is. You understand? That's the dude that I had to punch in the face when I was, when he was 18 because he said, yeah, nigga, that's why niggas from my black stabbed you. So I rocked his jaw off. And that's the truth. That's why this time around, he caught me in the year. They did a, a circus act with, the, with the, he took the security camera because, you know, the hate and, of course, the memory, probably that. I got caught slipping, but he caught me, whatever. But I caught that nigga way before that. So let's get that straight. So it's never been no fear. Nothing is what it is. Those, that's a hood situation. But if this dude is using them like a prize box, like, you know, the trophy that did, that did this to Cuban, you got to really picture this me, 18 years old, fighting 20 dudes for Tony Sunshine from the same block that that Hover dude is from, that that gloat and they 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 they, they talk shit. They, they did this, they did that, and he was part of that. I was, I was defending him. So the whole shit that they feel a certain way about me is because of Tony starting that beef that day. And I'm the one that protected Tony. I got stabbed, yeah, I protected him. He was underneath a, a green bin after they knocked his ass out. He was he, he was faking like he was knocked out under there because he was <laughs> sleeping again like the sink in Connecticut. You know what I'm saying? He was under there again. And he's really next to the guy licking balls again. Now, what kind of ball licking? Do you, how much ball licking do you do? Or can a person do in their lifetime? Like, I do not understand. But if y'all understand, please make sense of that. Tell me. Because I might, might make sense. I don't want to lose y'all. Because I know y'all get lost in translation when I talk. You know what I'm saying? I, so get that right. The, that same dude, Hover, <laughs> that he's talking about, he's, he's holding up like it's a trophy that did something to me. You know what I'm saying? It's the same guy that rocks, that talks, sh that knows that's part of the people that rocked Tony when he was 16 underneath a green bin, knocked his ass out, beat him up. I started, I, I, I got in to, to protect him. And you know, I was fighting 20 guys. Yeah, got mine off, but they still rocked me. I took an L that day, cause it was a, you have to, 20 against one, guns and everything. Stabbed in the stomach, blow, intestines hanging out, Tony crying, ah! And I'm laughing, cause I, he didn't know what happened. I'm in the car like this, oh my God. This nigga don't think I got stabbed enough. This. I showed them the, I, show, I showed them my three pots, my intestines. And I started throwing up because we was drunk. So the contestants kept coming out. <laughs> so wow. I'm like, oh, the f***? So anyway, two, uh, yeah, two strippers and a, a black a black old guy in a Cadillac put me in the back seat and took me, to, you know, and Tony, he was in the front seat, took me to um to the hospital and, you know, they, they, they stood me back up. They, they did a great job. But that's the story. So the same guy, like I just told you, he's repping the guy that knocked him out against the homie that protected him. That's what he'd rather do. That's where his jealousy or his hate took him to. That's why he's disgusting. See what I'm saying? That's deeper than rap. 
That's why I, I, don't, I didn't want to go to this side of stuff, but this is how disgusting I got to make you understand he is. You understand? To have the, you know, the, the audacity to do something like that, which is on the, he's only playing himself. That's what I'm saying. What dirt do you have on me? Tony is using the picture of him standing next to BX Hova, trying to get some credit, trying to get some brownie points, saying like, yo, there's no proof about what Cuban was talking about with him getting slapped in the face, right? But all we have to do is rewind the video of you getting punched by BX Hova. Taking credit for it, almost like he's the one that punched you. Right, right, right. No, but that's what he is. This is the type of garbage he is. And like I told you, how much of garbage he is. He's like dump juice, like, 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 like the, like the hunch point, the back of punch point, the second half where the transvestites is and where the dirty garbage juice is, where, you know, they take shits and then they piss everywhere on top of the garbage of the blubber that the whale has left around the world. That's who he is. He's there. He's that. He's, he's the sewer that swallows all that juice. That's what he is. That's what the cup of juice he drank. Juice with hating, uh, hating alcohol seltzer. So I don't know if you know, but in the comments, he's commenting to roll the clip. Now, where is roll the clip? Where is roll the clip? Roll the from? clip. Is, roll, roll the clip is from the. F they roll the clip is what he's trying to say. But play the play the video. I know, but that's what I say, man. Roll the clip. Right, played a video from the from the from the, from the flight night. Yeah, when, when when he stuffed me, when I got stuffed. But my catchphrase is always, "Man, roll the clip." Right, so all the fans, oh. yeah, all the fans were saying oh, to me, yeah, they're yeah, like, yeah, "Yo, yeah. this dude is like trying to be subliminal." But he thinks, but he thinks that's dope. He thinks something, something of his head. <laughs> he thinks that he that's a cool thing to do. Like I don't understand what he's throwing subliminal. Just say the name, you. Baloney smoker, what, what are you doing? Like you don't want to know. You don't want who to know. He wants who to know. Like who? Because he's letting you know. He's just talking in, in like gay code. You know that's that's what the that whole camp does over there. It's like they don't say the names directly. It's kind of like a indirect subliminal. If you know, you know. You got to read in between the lines. Like when Joe goes on live, he doesn't say that's Charlie's they're wrong. name. That's usually when they're wrong. When they're wrong. When they're wrong. When they when they when they when they know they did something wrong, they don't want to um. That's what they do. They they try to uh, keep the the other person in silence by not you know putting their names into the universe or put it out so they could go back to them and, and you know somebody would act dumb situation. They want to. That's what they do. You know I'm that's the only time they do. Let's that. be honest, right? Like I told Los before. I said that you want Tony oh to come. God, you, you want him to come on the platform and tell his side of the story. He's more than welcome to. Okay, right? how many times are you gonna say no, no, that? No. How many times are you gonna know, say but, that? He, he's a baloney. But then he said, yeah. he said that yo, Tony don't like speaking about this negative stuff, right? He likes to speak about positive stuff. Oh only. my god! But then you look like he's always taking subliminal shots on his Instagram all the time. No, he doesn't look. He doesn't look like he is. Uh, he's always taking is, subliminal uh, shots all the time. And so he yeah, gotta look like it's look like he's like he might be. It's still a chance that he's not talking about me. Oh, you're talking about me. Everybody knows. No, just, but, I don't know who you're fooling. But you know so funny? Who is he trying to fool though? Is he denies <laughs> it though? Because like you remember earlier, like I think like earlier on in the year, he was taking shots and I did videos on it. Then he posted, he's like, People think that I'm taking so shots at so and so, they don't even know who I'm talking so about. Is, because he thinks he could he's only fooling himself. That's what a dumb dude does. To think that he's tricking people when he's only tricking himself, <laughs> you understand? Right. That's how we thought it. And, and man, much that rock that he smoked, maybe how potent that shit is, because nobody is believing you no more. Like the truth is out. The cock has been charged already with a third degree slap. It, the cock is doing time right now. It did twenty years. Just finally got free. Let it go. The shit is over. Admit the cock is was guilty. Admit that you was guilty by doing the airbender. Which, the airbender your way out of that one. Huh? You saw the uh the interview with nonstop, right? And it, yeah. and nonstop confirmed everything you said. He said that the only thing that you forgot though was that he did like a karate move after, like he did a meditation. I forgot, I, I forgot the airbender. That's what I said, the airbender. <laughs> He did the airbender and it was like this. Uh, <laughs> he could, could control the wind and the wind went west 
east, north, south in his jaw three times. And left to the other side of his ears. But that's what I'm saying. These things no. that are made up, these things are not me trying but to, you, you know what I'm saying? Well, yeah, You're trying to expose who he is because you forgot who he is. That's me trying to do that. This is for somebody that you just heard what I just did for the dude back in the days. Right. You see, you see the the the, the yeah. gratitude I'm getting after put his life on the line to protect you. You hang out and you take a picture and hold as a trophy that one of the guys that did that to me. Part of that, not that he did that to me, but part of that that, that circle that did that to me. Plus, knocked you out underneath the green bed. I remember, and you remember. We went to the hospital together, remember? You, and I thought I ain't did nothing happened to me. I'm in the back, laid out with you know two strippers, one my head in the strippers lap, and, and the other stripper telling me, he said, "Don't." I put the shirt on my on my stomach, you know, because so, I had a little. There was a hole in my stomach, so the intestine was like creeping out through it, like you see the intestine like yeah. through it through the skin. But it was cool. I was drunk too. So the nigga Tony's like, oh, "What's wrong? Where you back this thing? Hey, back like that, man." Right? He was like that in front with the back, with the black guy, uh, the old black guy that was driving, because he didn't know me. There was a jet into the to the hospital, and the, and the, the strippers in the back. I think it was cat and chocolate. Shout out to them. <laughs> um, I still remember. I still remember their names. They you somebody's know, how mama. Forget, how right can now, you forget can people you? that serve that been there to right. save your life? You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm saying. I'm, I'm that type of dude. Look at that. Right now, you just asked me, I told you, cat, chocolate. Two strippers, beautiful. I love them. Um, McCuban, you a fool. Listen to me. He told, I was in the back, laying back, like I said, <laughs> and I'm kind of laughing. But screaming. The, the strippers are screaming a little bit. Hey, you'll be all right. Come on, hurry up faster. So Tony's like, why are y'all making that much noise? You didn't get nothing happened to him. Look at him. And he's looking at me, and I'm like, this we mean nothing happened to me, stupid. And I'm kind of laughing like this. It, it was like, what, what happened? And if, <laughs> And I go, look, <laughs> you know, go like this. He, the shit, my shit popped out a little bit. And he was like, oh, ah! in the front seat. And if I'm lying, I'm dying, man. I'm trying to tell you. And then I, I, when he did that, I started laughing like a dick and throwing up. Because now I'm drunk. But I did the, ah. And then when I did that, it gasped my air. And I'm like, oh, shit. And I start throwing up in the back seat, right? Like this. Ah! Now I'm throwing up. And when you're pushing, you stomach. On the strippers? No, 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 no. I don't. No, the stripper <laughs> moved to the side. She moved to the side. But I was I throwing up in the back. I couldn't stop it. Now, when you're throwing up, you got to put pressure in your stomach. So more fucking tests. This is protruding more. They, they're pushing out. I'm trying to hold it. I'm like, whoa. Oh, man. So I'm throwing up. The intestine is coming out. The strippers are screaming. Black guy doesn't know what the fuck. I'm having a baby back there that's driving. Tony's in the sidelines like, uh, the, the, the mother who's going to deliver the baby, but she passed out. Uh, this is my situation, guys. Guys, nobody help me, guys. <laughs> and that's true stories. That's true stories. And uh, I got I made it to the hospital, and uh, that's it. They stitched me up. You know, what I'm saying African dude and a African dude. He said, "What happened, motherfucker?" <laughs> <What the fuck? laughs> no, you did it. Like, no, he did it. No, he, he, he didn't say, say that. that. Who told you to so come out that fix you, motherfucker? You know how much she's going to thank you? <laughs> that's my story, man. That's me free. He didn't say that. Did he really say that? I fixed your motherfucker. As, as soon as I woke up, as he said, hey, I fixed your motherfucker. You be all right, fucker. Then he told me, ah, get, get rid of that Tony Sunshine guy. He's, he's a bad motherfucker. He's a soccer. He's a soccer. Not a bad motherfucker. He's a soccer. <laughs> I was like, I know, I know, I know, soccer. That's a doctor told me. You know what I'm saying? Yo, I don't remember but his you, name, you but was, that was my doctor, African doctor. You was a fool because when you did that episode two on Instagram, you did the yeah. five steps. <laughs> he took five steps. <laughs> getting slapped with a car. Four steps. For all of us to watch. And three bitches. <laughs> there were three bitches. And they all saw you get slapped. Ooh. I told you, boy. <laughs> I don't know. I'm nice with mine. I'm nice. You can't fuck with me. I can do it right, man. Yo. But, um, 
God boy. So I, then, so I, then he I, he goes live, <laughs> right? He, I, well, well, <laughs> he goes live and he goes, "Hi, hi, 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 Lila, hi, hi." You got no hi. wins against me, man. You talk about anything you like, anything he likes, anything. Don't make me go further, cause you see how much I got. You oh. already killed. You don't want to act like he dead. I told him, act like you dead. But I act like you dead. Like you died did that day when he snuffed you under the bin. Act like you're sleeping, boy. Because if you don't, I'm going to put you to sleep. So he goes live and then he's like talk, telling people to go post on, uh, to drop a comment on his last post, right? And he's doing, he's saying drop a, a boxing mitt, whatever, uh, somebody with uh, a, a hurt head bandage and like all types of things and um he doesn't want to see like, me dog i said i said i don't want to see i live a good life and you know he's showing That's the palm it. trees and he's saying that he's about to get his hair cut he's gonna get a steak he's like he's like he's like saying but oh, yeah, okay, uh, you trying to just dig you trying to just feed me feed me you're feeding me just things so i can go in right that was enough what I gave you, huh? You want to keep on with the fuck? No, no, I'm just saying. I'm saying for the people to understand that's watching, you know? So he he's going he in he's saying that. And then, like, Joe's in the live watching, too, and he's shouting out Joe. He says he's defending Joe. He's saying, yo, it don't matter what they say about you. You a legend and blah, 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 right? And then he's saying, at, towards the end, he goes, oh, I got to get up out of here because Joe going to chew me out when I get off or whatever for talking too much. And he says, but... Positive vibes. I just gotta talk my ish yeah, every Mr. once in a while. It's the good with vibes. These bozos. Because he's denying, the, you know. I mean, you, the, you know, you have to understand the type of dudes you're dealing with. You're dealing, you're dealing with a dude that, you know, I think he's, the people. I said this many times. I showed you who I am, right? Why? Because I'm battle tested, right? You see me in bad situations, good situations, regular situations. Y'all seen that. I'm battle tested. Whatever you think of me is what it is because I showed you. I'm sure they showed you who they are. You could choose to side with whoever. You could you could know who's doing what. You, you know, right from wrong, you know, good from evil. You know all of that as a human being. You know it. You seen it. It's show you who they are. Just re do the do the recap. And they life. They got a long enough history for you to do the recap. They, you like that picture when you finish drawing it. Then that's who you chose. And you, you go with that. Then you go with that. Keep riding on that. I know that if you draw that picture, you know who's lying and who's telling the truth. And you know who's about it and who's not. And you know who do it for TV and who do it for, for live audience. You know that. You know? And you know who is really who he says he is or who he Trace to be, and you know who's be putting on a show and acting like somebody else. You know that, so that's it's easy to tell. You know, I don't want to be the the conductor of gassing you. Like I said, I don't like gassing people, man. You got the only thing that gas me is the truth, my knowledge of something that I'm sure I could be sure about what I'm saying. Other niggas, they make things up and they go fishing, but they catch nothing. You only catch you know, blowfishes. Yo, I think the crazy thing though is that like so many people never have anything good to say about him though. You know, like every single time you look in the comments, nobody has anything good to say about him. And it's like, it's crazy. Not even like one person has anything good to say about him because what it seems like is that he's just kind of, he's really insecure and just likes to talk online, like talk ish, like crazy. Like, I don't understand that either. Like, why either just I don't be know direct why with who you I don't want to know why anymore though. It's like, like you know, you gotta be you gotta know how to how to just evacuate all types of emotions <clears throat> for somebody that's not with a cop. And for me to say that and go there, that's me reminding myself, how the hell am I be that stupid? I made a homeboy for money. You got snap with a cock. That's what the I'm, I'm blaming myself again. Taking a cocky, uh, you know, ex cocky slap, uh, you know, whatever the f you call it, ex cock slapped her, or uh, whatever it is. Taking a victim of a cock slap into my, you know, into, into have love for him and do all I did for him from protecting him to, 
to to accept to, to be in the, the main reason that he's in Tyrus Squad, you know what I'm saying? As far as the artists and singing, that I've been the one who put him in the first songs, classic songs like Hey Mama, Still Telling Lies, my first single. I'll make sure he was on it. All the things that I did out of me, Dr. Joe told me, I did that from like from my heart, for, you know what I'm saying? And, and also recognizing that he got talent. So I'm trying to push him just like Pun pushed me. I gave that love for that dude to be the way he is to a like me when you owe me your soul, boy. Ooh, that soul gonna be lit when I motherfucking touch it. All right? So that's what's going on. He's gonna suffer more times he lies. He's gonna suffer more. And it's you know, the suffering comes from the karma. From the, you know what I'm saying? The universe giving you that back. You're gonna feel it. I don't gotta tell you no more. I won't do and I don't do no black magic, none of that no voodoo shit. You know, took my eyes off. Ya de la penguería, todos los maricones también que traicioneros ustedes que son, que tú sabes, me reconocen que soy yo, cojones. Ustedes saben que soy yo. Que la, porque están actuando como si son, yo soy un extraño, o, o te, están, te están burlando porque me conocen. Me conocí este arte. Antes me conocía ya. Ok, tú te piensas que algo es suave, que algo, 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 algo es un poquito, que, una chuchería right. por ahí. Está bien, Before... si tú piensas así, vamos a ver. Before we get off of Tony, what? Before we stop talking about Tony, though, I I, I want to say you cut me off because I'm talking Spanish. No, that was okay? mad. I understand racist, what man. you're saying. Racist. I understand you. what you're saying. We didn't say nothing. Don't try to. That's mocking. The, that's even worse than racism. No, I understand what you're saying. You but said maricon, you, and I know what that okay, means. With you, but this is no racism here. This is hip hop. 